United States has finally revealed its sixth generation fighter jet. The specifications for the US next generation fighter are so ridiculous that NASA had no choice but to get involved. The FAXX is the name of this fighter. It is being developed with the F-22 Raptor, the world's most advanced fighter plane, as a test bed. The FAXX is projected to be the United States' go-to fighter, keeping other sixth generation fighters in check and reminding Russia who the true king of disguise is. Stay till the end of the video to discover how the US sixth generation fighter stacks up against Russia's. A sixth generation fighter is a concept for a class of jet fighter aircraft that is more advanced than the present fifth generation fighters in service and development. The United States, Japan, Russia, the United Kingdom, Sweden, Italy, France, Germany, Spain, China, and India are among the countries that have announced the development of a sixth generation aircraft program. In the 2030s, the first sixth generation fighters will be deployed. In order to keep up with the UK and Russia led programs, the US appears to have accelerated its sixth generation fighter jet program, also known as Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD. While the United States has already flown a prototype of the NGAD, the United Kingdom is developing the Tempest, a sixth generation aircraft that will join the Royal Air Force, Swedish Air Force, and Italian Air Force once completed. Similarly, France, Germany, and Spain are developing the Future Combat Air System, or FCAS, which will eventually replace the Eurofighter Typhoon, Gripen, and Rafale. On August 26, 2013, Russia also revealed it would proceed with the development of a sixth generation jet fighter. They say the aircraft will most likely be pilotless. The F-35 Lightning II will operate alongside the new aircraft in the United States well into the 2050s and beyond, while the F-22 Raptor will be retired. The sixth generation combat aircraft will have the following features and capabilities. Enhanced human system interface with a virtual cockpit that allows pilot 360 degree vision with an AI enhanced battlefield awareness. And it will be capable of performing manned, remote controlled or onboard artificial intelligence controlled missions. It would be equipped with advanced digital capabilities such as data fusion, command, control, and communications, as well as high capacity networking. It would also have variable cycle engines, directed energy weapons such as a laser, the ability to control drone swarms and other unmanned aerial assets, and the ability to carry new generation air to ground and air to air munitions. Several distinguishing qualities common to various sixth generation fighter ideas have evolved despite the fact that development is still in its early stages. Air-to-air -air capability, battlefield survivability in the predicted anti-access area denial environment, and ground support attack capabilities will all need to be improved and adapted to the future threat environment in the fifth generation. The initial concentration on air superiority tasks has evolved to include ground support, cyber warfare, and even space warfare capabilities, with beyond visual range or BVR air-to-air -air missile capability remaining crucial. The capacity to conduct man and undemand operations, as well as the ability to interact with larger fleets of satellite drones and ground sensors in high traffic networked environment to provide full data to decision or D2D capability is also desired. The United States now leads the race with the NGAD systems projected to be deployed in the early 2030s. The US Air Force and Navy have accelerated the program and the defense aerospace industry in the United States would design, develop, construct, and field a new aircraft in five years or less. This is the capability that the Europeans and Russians both lack, highlighting the technical gap between the two countries. The first combat aircraft to be built is the NGAD system, the prototype of which flew in September of 2020. The NGAD program includes multiple companies rapidly developing a small batch of aircraft, similar to the Century series of aircraft from the 1950s, such as the F-100, F-104, F-105, and F-106. Since then, the aerospace industry has advanced significantly, and it now has the capability to develop an aircraft from the ground up and get it into the air in five years or less to combat shifting threats now and in the future. The sixth generation combat aircraft will be at the center of a networked system that will likely be partnered with unmanned escort aircraft, missile trucks, among other things. According to Defense News, the U.S. Air Force is expected to employ prototyping to stay up with key technologies and allow them to develop faster so they can be included in advanced aircraft that will be deployed in the early 2030s. What sets this new strategy apart from previous approaches is the United States Air Force's goal of creating an aircraft in two years, integrating whatever new technology is available rather than waiting for it to mature. 
The service will then purchase these planes, launching a fresh round of competition among manufacturers to develop more advanced designs and include newer technology than was previously possible. Three technologies are critical to achieving this goal, agile software development, open architecture, and digital engineering. Agile software development is the practice of quickly writing, testing, releasing a code, and getting feedback while the users are putting the software through its paces. The NGAD system will be built on an open architecture with fully open, interchangeable hardware, allowing third parties to develop software for the system. The third technology is not only the newest, but it is also possibly the most revolutionary. Digital engineering will enable 3D modeling of an aircraft's entire life cycle in extreme detail, from design to production to maintenance, with pinpoint accuracy, and will aid in visualizing how the production line will operate, as well as how maintenance and repair will be carried out while in service. However, critics claim that the U.S. Air Force is overreacting to the F-35's teething problems, despite the fact that the plane was marketed as a single answer to a range of roles. Due to cost increase caused by software and sensors, the fifth-generation aircraft took nearly two decades to build and field. Some observers believe that by accepting the NGAD, the U.S. will be able to prioritize the development and fielding of the aircraft in a much shorter time frame, at the expense of new weapons, radars, sensors, and other enabling technology. In the F-35, the focus was on the systems rather than the aircraft, but NGAD is the opposite, say detractors adding that the goal should be somewhere in the middle, a sensible compromise. Embedded sensors and microelectronics will also allow sensor arrays to be placed in locations that were previously unavailable due to either heat or the curvature of the surface, allowing for more powerful and complete battlefield views. Although the planes won't be self-driving, they will be able to learn and advise the pilot on what actions to take, such as if a target should be temporarily incapacitated, damaged, or destroyed. Photonics will most likely replace traditional electronics, according to Daryl W. Davis, head of Boeing's advanced systems business. Fiber optics would also be less vulnerable to cyber attacks and less susceptible to data jamming or spoofing. A digital wingman may also follow the main fighter as an auxiliary sensor shooter capable of taking vocal commands. Directed energy weapons may have a significant impact on how agile a sixth generation fighter must be because there will be little time to maneuver away from a directed energy attack. Speed of light weaponry may negate the necessity of the maneuverability we see in today's popular fighters. There could be an infinite magazine of shots with a suitable engine, possibly an auxiliary engine, on board to give power for directed energy weapons. Before we conclude, be sure to subscribe for more content like this. Little is known about Russia's and China's progress in developing their sixth generation combat aircraft programs. A lot of speculation suggests they are still in the early stages, implying that the U.S. military will continue to dominate the skies for the foreseeable future. Who do you think will win the sixth generation air superiority race? Let us know what you think in the comment section. Also, be sure to check out our video on NATO's deadliest weapon will shock the world.